Hello. I would like to explain to you about the rural electrification program of the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development. This is a program that is set up for social economic development through the distribution of electricity. The program has been in existence for over 18 years and to date we have achieved over 37,000 kilometers countrywide. This program has funding from government and other development partners including the World Bank, African Development Bank, Islamic Development Bank, we have Kuwait Fund, Saudi Fund, Abu Dhabi Fund, we have the Swedish and Norwegian government supporting, we've got the Japanese government supporting, we've got support from the European Union, German government through KFW and GIZ, and the latest entrant to support the program is the Exim Bank of China. The program really aims to do grid extension as its main focus, ensuring access for every Ugandan. We target households, we target uh, SMEs, we try to add value to activities that people are already doing. That way, electricity is not only useful for energy, but it's also a catalyst for development. Through this program, we've been able to achieve a lot. Apart from the kilometers, we've been able to serve industries, but also attract investment in the electricity subsector. Because of the program, we've got so many pole plants coming up both wooden and concrete in the country. We've got transformer factories coming up as a result. We've got people producing cables and other accessories for electricity. Livelihood has generally improved. We have contractors and subcontractors that we give work and they've employed so many people, both women and men. These consultants and contractors give direct employment to people on the ground. They also give employment to electrical engineers so basically the technical capacity has built and this experience has enabled these people get contracts even outside uganda like tanzania rwanda and so many places we've also been able to introduce the electricity connections policy this policy is aimed at subsidizing the initial connection cost for households. Our aim is to connect over 300,000 households annually. And this will go on and on for the next 10 years until we improve access. The aim really of government is to have universal access for all Ugandans by 2040. So we hope that by continually extending the grid, we shall achieve electricity for all. We also promote corporate social responsibility. We work with communities and add value through our many different activities. We do community sensitization on productive uses of energy, energy efficiency. We promote and conserve the environment through tree planting. We also ensure that aspects of gender are promoted. Many times there are concerns about where is the gender and infrastructure like electricity. But women are known to be the biggest energy users, so we ensure the message gets to them. They encourage to wear their houses. They are also encouraged to use safer energy. For so long, women in Uganda, especially rural Uganda, where the program focus mostly used firewood, charcoal, and this is not always healthy. So we are trying to promote clean energy by encouraging people to use this source of energy. We also promote other alternative sources like the solar energy and we do have a department that particularly focuses on solar energy. Along the way, people always wonder, how do I apply for electricity? How do I get extension? How do I get connected? We work with service provider. These utility companies have connection rates. We have other six sector partners that we work with and we are going to talk about this 
in many various video clips that are coming along where we'll talk about productive uses of energy, energy efficiency, procedures for connection, if you have any grievances, how we can work with each other to promote this, and so on and so forth. The best way to engage with us is send us messages on Facebook, on YouTube, on WhatsApp, whichever is accessible. You can also call us, email us. We shall be able to get back to you either through a direct call or through the same media if we feel that your concerns can cover other people. One thing that I would like to point out is that uh, if you want to get connected, please don't hesitate to write to us. Write to the Rural Education Program of the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development requesting for extension of power to your area. Don't forget to indicate the village you're at, the parish, the sub-county and the district. Remember that some areas have similar names and we don't always come from all these places. So a contact person would be useful so that when we set the surveyors, they can find you and we can serve you better for God and my country. My name is Patricia Litho. I am Head of Communications and Community Affairs for the program. Thank you.